hey guys um welcome back to my channel again so today you are not seeing me you are seeing the beautiful cv we are doing a client makeup so not my face but a different face <laughs> so yeah let's get started with this um so that's the viewer my friend and that's hair before we started with the face so yeah now we're just starting um so i start by cleaning uh, my clients faces all the time i start by using a wipe on their face just making sure to remove all the dirt in their face before i start prepping it with anything or applying anything on the face so yeah um i start by toning the face with that toner from african extras that's an amazing toner guys i use it myself on my face it just hydrates your skin and it mattifies it as well doesn't necessarily leave it um dry it hydrates it actually it hydrates your skin so well and it smells really good it helps a lot so i'll just apply that toner just to hydrate my client's skin before applying a moisturizer and right there i'm sorry i forgot to show you guys but i was applying a serum it's an estee lauder serum um that's pore minimizing so yeah she has like pores in her face huge ones and yeah so i was just applying that serum before applying the primer and the primer i used is from maybelline um baby skin pore, pore eraser primer so i'm just focusing that primer mostly on her t-zone because that's where she has the most pores and that's where she sweats a lot so i'm just applying it there first and then distributing it um all over her face yeah so that's me doing that there and then we're just gonna start with eyebrows using my wet and wild uh, mega clear that's not so clear mascara <laughs> uh, we're just uh, gonna brush her eyebrows up so that they're on the same direction before i fill them in with a pencil i like to use that because it kind of sets them into like the same direction and they stay in place and so when i apply the pencil it's easy to follow where the hair is and just fill in the spaces so to fill my eyebrows i'm just gonna use my yardly um pencil in dark brown and as per my eyebrow tutorial i start by filling in the upper corners like yeah that's what i always do i love doing that just to make sure that my eyebrow is on fleek and curvy so yeah that's what i do I fill in the upper corner and then I continue to fill in the rest of an eyebrow with a pencil but mostly I fill in that corner and then I fill in the other parts really lightly and yeah maybe it doesn't really look so lightly there but yeah it really do go in really lightly then I do the same thing on the other eyebrow as well starting with the corner and then I'm just gonna use the brush in my pencil just to blend um, the pencil evenly um throughout the eyebrow and to blend it with the hairs as well um so i'm just using the pencil um the pencil brush because i don't have a spoolie <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> and now i'm just gonna conceal my eyebrows using the la girl pro concealer in shade warm honey um i forgot to show you guys the shade i'm sorry but i'm gonna show you somewhere in this video because that's the concealer i'll be using on here throughout this video and as i always say i like to use at least a concealer that's two shades lighter than you when i'm highlighting and concealing eyebrows but mostly on eyebrows i sometimes prefer to use um especially on top of the eyebrow to use a concealer that's like exactly the same as you but in this video i'll be using the same concealer um, throughout so i did use this um warm honey um beneath the eyebrows and also to conceal the eyebrows like on top so yeah um it is um about the best concealer la girl has the best concealers that are easy to blend and then i'm just gonna apply that all over the eyelid because i'm also gonna use it as an eyeshadow base as well so yeah um I'm, this is why i'm applying all over the eyelid and not just concealing the eyebrow so yeah i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eyebrow as well conceal the bottom and then i'm gonna conceal the um the upper part of the eyebrows on both sides and i did use quite a lot of concealer there but not to worry i'm gonna blend it out and i'm gonna highlight that forehead part anyway so now i'm just blending um the concealer um, beneath the eyebrows so that um i can apply my eyeshadow so yeah now we're gonna start with an eyeshadow so for transitioning i'm gonna use um that orangish brown light brown 
Ah, oh, Lord, I forgot the name of that palette, but um, it's from this cam. It's a very cheap palette, and I love it, and I've had it. And yes, it fell and broke, guys. I'm sorry. And yeah, here we are going for a very simple look. That's what the client asked for. But yeah, not so simple. It must show that I'm there, but still simple. So we're just going to use that light brown to transition on both our eyebrows. And um, it's just not going to wear eye, the thingy eyelashes as well. So this is why we're going for a simple look, but that still says I'm there. So yeah, this is why we're going for that. And then now I'm just going to use that um, a dark brown co uh, thingy. Sorry. A dark brown um eyeshadow wow i'm gonna use a dark brown eyeshadow there now i'm just blending out um this transitioning shade that's the dark brown that i'm gonna use um just to give depth um onto the crease of the eye because i'm gonna apply uh, a colorful shadow where the space where i'm not putting an eyeshadow right now just above the eyelids so i'm just gonna now apply that um dark brown eyeshadow on both sides of the eyes and make it uh, and make sure that I blend it very well with the transitioning shade um, yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm just blending it very well uh, also to make sure that you blend your eyeshadows well just to tr just try using um, circular motions you guys when you're holding your brush not just uh, brush it around just try to use circular motions and that will it will blend evenly and very well so now i'm gonna apply this um eyeshadow this is um a palette i got from yardley quite a while ago and it broke and this is why it's stuffy because i used coconut oil just to put everything together because i really love that um eyeshadow so i was not about to throw it away so we're just gonna take the gold on the eyeshadow and place it there just on the eyelid just above um the uh, eyelashes upper eyelashes we hadn't apply <laughs> eyeshadow basically so we're just gonna put that gold i did not put any concealer or any primer um underneath it because i wanted to pop but not as much because she's not gonna wear um eyelashes and i always feel like if you are not gonna wear eyelashes then your eyeshadow shouldn't be as bright because having a bright um eyeshadow and not having eyelashes is quite um offish for me that's how i feel but yeah i'm just gonna apply that um without using an eyeshadow primer or placing a concealer beneath so now yeah uh i'm just gonna blend that out yeah that's what i'm doing i don't know i've got lost of words someone is making noise outside i'm sorry guys but yeah i'm just placing the gold on the eyelid and now i'm gonna go back with the brush i use the fluffy brush i used to blend everything out just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and then go in with an eyeliner from essence it's a liquid eyeliner from essence i'm just gonna wing uh hair eyeliner because we are not wearing um eyelashes today well even if we were gonna wear eyelashes i just love winged eye eyeliner she also loves it too it's no problem for us really so yeah she asked for it well i confirmed first if she would like uh, a winged eyeliner so yeah um which i'm just uh winging her eyeliner right now so yeah after that um i'm just gonna blend yeah i'm blending that concealer on top yeah just gonna blend it onto her for it yes i know now it looks really bad and ashy but I'm gonna apply foundation and that part of her forehead I was gonna highlight anyway. So the foundation we're gonna use is from MAC uh, Studio Fix Foundation. There it is. Um, liquid foundation. It's in NC45. Uh, it doesn't show really well. I'm sorry, you guys. But yeah. And then we're just gonna use a brush to apply that foundation. I really love um, using a brush applying a foundation, you guys, because... I feel like it doesn't absorb a lot of product and that brush it's it's my new brush it, yeah it just works very well blending in and like while blending in um a foundation using a brush please do not rub it around or drag it around just make sure you're using the dabbing motion so that everything blends well and you don't end up with streaks on the face so yeah that's what i'm just doing there just applying foundation and dabbing and dabbing it into onto her skin and making sure that i blend everything out well and perfectly and yeah so that's what i'm just doing with the brush that's the trick you guys brushes i feel like they work better than sponges because a sponge 
does absorb a lot of product and a brush on the other side doesn't and if you use it well it gives you a very well blended look in the end not um, with streaks so you just have to use that dabbing motion rather than um, breaking it on the skin and yeah because yeah that will leave you with a lot of streaks and a look that's not so well blended will probably end up with um, a horrible look basically so yeah that's what i'm just doing there blending in blend 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 and yeah i <laughs> i have um the foundation on the back of my hand that's what i always do i always use and i did wash my hands guys i did wash my hands before touching her face so my hands were washed and clean before touching her face so yes there's no any contamination or any doubt or anything there so yeah after applying um foundation and blending it well onto her face we're gonna go on ahead and highlight her face i'm just really a perfectionist you guys so this is why i'm just blending a lot i probably should have cut this part but yeah i just needed you guys to see that there's way too much work to put on so yeah we're just gonna go on and highlight and i'll be using the same concealer i was using from la girl in warm honey i think this is the part where i show you guys yes there it is and it's not showing so properly but yeah it is in warm honey i'm just gonna place the concealer on the high points of her face and try to also conceal her bad decisions <laughs> uh, yeah i'm just gonna conceal her under eyes and conceal um the nose bridge as well and her forehead and the chin as well so we're using the same concealer all over yes and yeah in the forehead i'm not gonna use so much product because i already had concealer remember when i was concealing um her eyebrows that i had way too much concealer and it was just left there so yeah i'm not gonna have so much i'm just dragging a little bit on the you can see it's lighter than the under eyes because it's not that much of a concealer and then yeah i'm just now gonna highlight the chin as well and yeah so i'm just gonna blend that out now using the same brush i used when applying foundation i love use i i love doing that because um you find out that sometimes the brush is well the brush will always have some foundation left in it so in in a case where you would have used my like a very bright concealer it would just blend perfectly because the um the minimum amount of foundation that was left on the brush will mix with the concealer and will just blend in perfectly with your skin with all with all your face so i just use the same brush i don't use um a fresh one or a new one or a beauty blender i just use the same brush and it works really perfectly for me i don't know for other people though so yeah now i'm just blending out her face and blending in the concealer with the with the skin the highlights i mean with the skin and then i'm gonna go on and um highlight oh no big first sorry using that black opal um the black opal setting powder in medium o3 i love using that because it has that well i know that not everyone has that yellowish undertone on their skin but i love using that so i'm just um setting the parts of the face that um i highlighted i'm sorry you guys my phone cut yeah here but i was contouring using that um yardly uh powder pressed powder in walnut now i'm using this one in almond to remove um the setting powder i did place in her face where i highlighted so i'm using it to remove the powder and also to set um her face completely i really love yardly um pressed powders they just work perfectly for me so yeah um I'm, my phone cut there when i was contouring but i did contour using that dark one the dark powder so now i'm gonna use densuke from this connie transform palette and place um the shadow on the lower lids um of her eyes just to smoke 
um them out and not use a liner instead because yeah i just it's really difficult to use liner with clients they get scared and um, blink a lot so i just use a shadow and smoke it out so now i'm just using a fluffy brush to smoke that out and blend it perfectly and i'm just removing the dirt yeah they're using that brush and now that's my es essence um volume mascara I'm just gonna use it on hair lashes and mascara hair lashes because we are not wearing okay even if we were wearing we're gonna use mascara so now we're gonna highlight her face for highlighter we'll be using this master chrome highlighter from maybelline as well i love this highlighter look at it i really love this highlighter it works well for light skin though because it looks really it's, it looks a bit harsh on dark skin so for people who have like medium to light toned skin i use that highlighter all the time but i only use it to highlight the nose bridge and um the brow bone just only that so i'm just gonna blend that out now and then to warm her face up i'm just gonna use this switch beauty um bubbly brush is it bubbly bu bubbly blush sorry um palette with um it has different uh thing is it has different um what is this blushes sorry wow there's different blushes in it so i just love using it it's has, it's it's a creamy palette it has creamy blushes so i'm just gonna use that eyeshadow um that blush there to warm up her face and then i'm gonna further warm up her face and highlight it using this this is my favorite as well you guys this floma it's a highlighter i think um it's written there what it is but here's another fancy name but it's in champagne outre I think. no it's not in champagne outre i'm sorry i'm gonna put it on the description box below that's a highlighter i don't like using a harsh highlighter or highlighter that's really blinding on the cheeks of my client or myself so i like using that one it has that pinky undertone on it as well so it further does warm up the face it doesn't just highlight it highlights and warms up the face not leaving you with a harsh highlighter all over your face so yeah after that i'm just gonna blend out everything in the face that's what i always do using that um uh what's this powder brush sorry yeah using that powder brush so now we're gonna go in with a dark brown um i like no wow <laughs> a lip liner we're gonna go in with a dark brown lip liner and because we're gonna be using um a nude lipstick or um a gloss yeah so that's a glossy lipstick um from Conic transform in shade 1989 so we're just gonna use it on her because yes that's what she she asked for for a very uh natural looking face i guess and but still popping all at the same time i don't know if that description makes sense and then we're gonna set the face using our prep and prime um, fix from mac um fixating spray so yes and then i'm just gonna blend that out with the brush that i used earlier on to blend the face the powder brush and we are done you guys that's our client looking good there yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video if you haven't yet please do subscribe on my channel um give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and go watch my other videos as well i love you guys thank you for watching Mwah! thank you